Riders fans, creative lines for San Diego. First up, we've got Kickstart Kenny jumping through the whoops in the main event. Rop, rop, rop. He goes single, triple, triple, triple. Why do riders end up jumping through whoops? Well, if you're Marv, he would tell you that's the only way you actually can do it. It's the most effective way. Well, as far as on the body, it is the most effective way. I will agree with him. That was halfway of a, a joke there. It just requires less energy of all the muscles to just stay on top of him, go, eh, 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 and have it all kick you all weird, and you have to squeeze real hard, squeeze your hands, potentially. You never want to squeeze your hands a lot on a dirt bike because it's going to cause arm pump, and it's going to cause lactic acid and blood in the forearms, and you don't want that. So you want to stay loosey-goosey and flowing. Well, look at Kenny. How does it... It looks like a lot of flowing. Where you watch Barsha... See, Barsha... Right at the end there, woo, gets kicked and misses that last whoop. There's a lot of energy expelled when you're on top of them. Typically, going on top of them is faster. And you'll see riders only start to jump them once they start getting real sharp. A, it's because it's more and more difficult to stay on top of them because of all the notches. They get super scary. And B, it's just a more effective way to go through them at the cost of speed but when you have a long main event you got to think about hey am i going to be able to make it the whole 20 25 minutes or do i need to change up so that i can go faster other places that's where i feel like kenny was the only rider doing this here but it looks really really efficient so watch he's setting up kicks off the second one rop triple 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 while the other riders are expelling a lot of energy to stay on top of them. That's why I have to say that that is an incredibly creative line when those are a difficult set of whoops. Moving on, we've got Tomac, the eventual winner of the night. Not by much from Cooper Webb's perspective because he had a full-blown, could see his butt patch for how close he was. I really like this because this is across the start. And we see him seat bounce. See, right here, it looks like he gets out at the last second. He gets out of the way of a rut so that he can have just a straight shot and there isn't no weird hole here, something that might kick him weird. Uh, pretty interesting how he just randomly just turns at the last second there. We're all... And that was intentional. That wasn't by accident. That was, oh, shit, I need a move. And still triples... And what I really like, and what's even more impressive, is him landing. Landing. And this is on a left-hander turn, so he can land on the rear brake. If you've seen my Brayton video, I, I show you that riders end up landing on the rear brake. I wish we actually had uh, another angle at this, because I bet his foot is on the rear brake as a foot peg. It's not on the actual foot peg, because he's got to slow down a little bit. But he's not going to slow down much. But look at that factory suspension and land just perfectly. So here, he can relatively just coast into the corner and boom, move. He might actually not have been on the rear brake. If I'm just to zoom in here, he might not have been on that guy around. Because we'd see him probably move. Because he'd be moving his foot once he starts accelerating. Nope. Was he? I think I can see the, the foot peg. But he's on his toes, which makes it even faster for him to be able to go through the whole corner just in a fluid coasting motion. And last up, a lot of riders were doing this, even Tomac, everyone was doing this, but RJ, just seat bouncing... The triple across the finish line. Just nice fluid. Real quick. Seat bounce. You know how you guys seat bounce. I've made tutorials before it. You want to sit on the back of the bike and you want to kind of curl your hips down to get that rear shock to bounce. But you don't want to have a, a pelvic 
you want to have a pelvic tilt because if you don't have a pelvic tilt, you're going to sit down and it's going to do this to you. And you want it just to bounce you straight up and watch RJ. Boom. And I don't believe I went back to Tomac to watch it in full speed, but let's watch it in full speed. Yeah, hauling ass. So there we have it for Creative Line San Diego. Like, subscribe. You guys have been helping out a bunch. Again, I've seen more people are starting to actually subscribe to my channel, which is a huge, huge help. Make sure you stick around for tomorrow, noon Pacific time. I've got two kick-ass privateers that we're going to banter about the Triple Crown. So till next time, keep it WFO. Barah!